everyone. My name is Demetra K of the Demetra K Show here on YouTube and a proud contributor of the African Diaspora News Channel. If you could do me a favor, if you haven't already, please subscribe to both channels and most definitely like this video. All right, so let's get into it. Um, in 1997, you all might have heard of a case that involved um, a Haitian by the name of Abner Louima. Now, Abner, Abner Louima was um, in a nightclub uh, in Brooklyn and he was involved in some sort of a melee and the police were called. Now, while the police were there, one of the police officers uh, by the name of Justin Volp, V-O-L-P-E, said that, you know, Abner assaulted him as the melee was going on. All right. Now, um, Officer Justin Volp uh, arrested Abner Luima and put him in the back of a police car. Now, while he was in a police car, he was brutally beaten. They said he was beaten with radios, batons, and, you know, fists, and, and anything else I guess they could get their hands on. And so, after he was transported from the police car, he was detained in the police station. Now, this is the part where I would advise you if you are watching with children, maybe you should remove them from the room because uh, this part gets kind of graphic. And I'll try to um, water it down as much as I can. So, give you a second or two. One, two, three. All right. Now, once uh, Mr. Luima was in uh, the police station, he was uh, brutally beaten again. And not only was he brutally beaten, he was sodomized with, um, as they say, a jagged broom handle. Uh, he was sodomized by um, Officer Justin Volp. And after he brutally sexually assaulted um, Abner Luima, he ran around the police station with the broom stick with all of the things you would imagine that would come um, out of a person's insides due to being uh, sodomized. All right, so he did that and he bragged about it. Um, and Mr. Luima was injured to the point of, because he was still in custody, the police had to take him to the emergency room the next day. Now, while he was in there, the officers basically lied to the hospital and said, oh, well, you know, his injuries are a result of um, uh, some sort of a violent homosexual encounter. So they were trying to allude to the fact that, not the fact, but trying to uh, accuse Abner of being homosexual and that whoever he was with did that to him, right? Now, it should also be said that same broomstick was rammed down his, you know, mouth and uh, injuring uh, most of his teeth. And so the nurse that was treating him didn't buy the fact that they were trying to say, oh, he was uh, brutalized by a lover, if you will, a homosexual lover. And then the truth came out that he was actually uh, sodomized by a broomstick. Okay, so once that got out to the public, everybody, you know, was upset, protests took place and all of that. And then finally a trial came now, all up until the time the trial came, the officers completely were lying about it. The, I don't know what happened to him type of thing. And then finally, um, Officer Justin uh, Volpe, he admitted to doing it. So he and I think it was four other officers were actually uh, found guilty. But he was the only one that was sentenced to 20, no, actually 30 years, 30 years um, in prison. And so he is still there now going on, I think his 21st year is what it is. And so why is this back in the news? Why am I even telling you this? Okay. So he now, he being Officer Volp, wants to be released under a compassionate release uh, program due to, wait for it, the COVID. He's saying that he contracted COVID once while he was in there already, and he doesn't want to contract it again. He doesn't want to suffer any long-term effects of, you know, the COVID and he served enough time and he should be allowed to go and be with his family and use their private health care to get the help that he needs. And, you know, at this time, his family is uh, hold on a second. Let me play my little violin for you. Um, at this time, his family is being robbed of his love and, you know, he just deserves to be with them during this time and blah, 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 blah. Right. This is the officer. He's saying that he needs to be let out due to the things that I just said. Now, what I also want to tell you is Mr. Luima had to undergo three major surgeries to repair the damage. Can you imagine 
and I'm not trying to freak you out, but I'm just, I'm just trying to set the stage here. Imagine having that happen to you. Like most of us have swept the floor within the last 24 hours and we can imagine what a broomstick looks like, let alone a jagged one. Okay. So imagine the damage that would do to one's insides. Now he had to have three major surgeries and he said he still feels the effects of what they did to him in 1997. Now, ultimately, he um, was able to win um, over $8 million in a settlement, which at the time was the largest settlement um, given by uh, the Brooklyn Police Department. And so uh, Mr. Luima was asked about it. You know, hey, the, this officer is now wanting to get out under compassionate release. What do you think about it? He says, well, you know, per my religion, Christianity, I have to forgive him. He says, but I'll never forget. He says... That's something you don't forget. It's something you live with every day. He says, I'll let the justice system do its job. But, you know, I'm not really one to just say, okay, hey, let him out. But, you know, he's like, yeah, but I'll, I'll never forget. But I'm like, the audacity. The audacity of this officer um, who wants people to take pity on him for what he did to this man. Like, are you serious? He, he was he a, little, a little, you scared of a little COVID? Well, like, imagine the hollers and the screams and the pleads that Mr. Luima was belting out while he was doing that to him and then ran around the station bragging about what he did to that man. And now all of a sudden, somebody's supposed to have compassion. I think he should do all 30 years, and I think they should tack on another 30 years so he can really understand what it's like to have something taken from you. So I just thought you guys should know that, the madness that's going on out there. But again, you know, um, when we all heard about it, the, the assault on Mr. Luima, it was very shocking. But to those of us who are in the know, we know that's how they get down. Nothing brings those race soldiers and people like them more pleasure than, you know, taking someone's manhood, especially a black man's manhood. And it's also said that that wasn't the first Haitian that, you know, was brutalized. And I don't know if the same things happened to him, but, you know, it sounds like that department and that officer um, had a history of brutalizing black men. And so... Anyway, you guys, uh, for more insightful commentary, I mean, I hated to bring such gruesomeness to you, but I just wanted you guys to know that this man is exactly wanting to be let out of prison due to some COVID. <laughs> I think he should stay there. So anyway, for more insightful commentary, please subscribe to this channel and the Meet Your K channel on YouTube. Peace. <music>